throwing up for my girl Jamie and Thirsty. See you later. Yeah.
And it really triggered something for me about a trial that I was a part of. Um, there were a lot of break-ins in my neighborhood. A bunch of my packages got stolen in the whole neighborhood. Like, it was like this crazy, like, who is this guy? Well, we got him on camera. Okay, well, now there's a trial. And I have been called to be a witness in this trial. The whole deal, downtown Brooklyn. Like, the judge, the jury, let's do this. The first witness gets up on the stand and they ask him what was stolen and he says, a MacBook Pro and other equipment for me to work from home. The second person gets up, this woman, and she says, what was stolen were a bunch of her kids' Christmas presents and she was almost in tears. Third person gets up and says, my mother's wheelchair, I got her a new wheelchair and I'll never get the chance to give it to her. I can't get, he was like breaking down. I get up there, here's how it went down. <laughs> Ms. Lederski, um, can you please describe for the court what was stolen from your apartment lobby? Oh, package? Oh, okay, yes, Ms. Lederski, can you please describe what was in that package for the court? Uh, Ms. Dursky, can you please say that louder? Because it sounds like you just said candles. Uh, Yankee candles? Okay, um, and you called the police for that, all right. Uh, okay, so you said candles, so it was more than one candle? Yeah, uh, <laughs> funny thing. So it was six Yankee candles, but I didn't realize that I'd have to justify this purchase to a, a jury of my peers. Uh, and I just called the police because it was a really big expensive ones. And actually I also ordered this really uh, expensive shampoo from Sephora that was stolen, but I didn't say anything about that. I'm really sorry that I'm here. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Dursky, did you say six Yankee candles? What kind of sick fuck would steal six Yankee candles? No further questions, Your Honor. Scooby-Doo eventually solved that case. That was pretty cool. Uh, so it's my son's birthday on Tuesday, next Tuesday, and he'll be six. And so uh, I promised him that I would do a joke that he would that he wrote for me. So I'm gonna leave you with this, okay? Six-year-old Watson, this is his, his big joke that he's been working on. What do you call a skeleton that doesn't have bones? What? A gelatin. Yeah.